regulations does not allow a strict chronological order. Nonetheless, it is possible to reconstruct the story. Revelation 6 and 1, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. The seven, the seals represent certain people and certain events. Two, And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Here is the goddess Artemis, or Diana. She was called the Huntress, and her weapon was the bow. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. This is the goddess Kali. Her sacred color was red, her weapon a sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. This is the goddess Mat. She is called Truth or Justice. Her symbol was a representation of scales and a feather. Her job was to measure a man's sin against the weight of a feather. She was the bearer of judgment. I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, behold, a pale horse, and his, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto him over the four fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, with death, and with the beasts of the earth. This is the goddess Hel, H-E-L, or Norse, N-O-R-S-E. Her name is Death. Her mines were called the pits of Hell. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. This jumps to a point where the space portion of the battle is over. The people who are mentioned are those that stayed loyal to the collective and were rescued. They are anxious over the fate of their fellow loyalists still on the earth. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of, of hair and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. This is the beginning of the battle to retake earth from the rebels. Note that it is the stars that is the symbol of the goddesses that fell to the earth. This depicts the Doma forces making planet fall. The fig tree is, as, is a, as pure a symbol of the goddess as you can get. Notice the use of the words her and she. This casts a feminine gender on the entire event. And the heavens departed as a scroll. When it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were removed out of their places. 
and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bonded man, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of this, his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? This needs little explanation. The rebels hid underground to escape bombardment. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. These are the four main war goddesses mentioned before. Their fleet is in orbit and about to begin their landing. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. This was the God Sheba. He ordered the Doma to hold their positions until those that were loyal to the collective could be found and evacuated. The last part of these verses have really been misunderstood. It has been used by all types of unscrupulous people. An entire religion was invented centered on the belief that only 144,000 people would be saved or chosen. Let's clear this up once and for all. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. This verse says it all. Those removed from the battle were not just 144,000 Jews, but people of all races and religions. They were removed before the final battle. Important note, what I have just outlined is very important. It was an event that has taken, that has been talked about, argued about, and theorized about. It is something that the Christians in particular were counting on. I'm afraid they are just a little bit late, however, by several thousand years. This, of course, was the rapture, the loyal followers of God were removed from earth, but it is finished. It is history. 13. Revelations. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The great tribulation was the war. And the angels took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. Pre-invasion bombardment 